Greetings all and welcome to another episode of the Sega Wall. I'm Sega Zombie and as you can see this week we're going to be taking a look at the Mighty Master System. This was the first home console I ever owned and there's so much nostalgia. This really really introduced me to the world of Sega. So the games are out of the wall and let's take a closer look. First up let's take a look at Battle Outrun. Now this game is quite a good spin-off in the in the Outrun series. It sort of like takes the Outrun style and adds like a Chase HQ element. Um, yeah, there's loads of sort of like crash mechanics where you can bash into your opponents. Really fast, really fluid, really colourful graphics. A great little game on the Master System. As you can see, we've got the Ninja, Donald Duck, Lucky Dime Capers. Great little game. Ghostbusters. I did love that on the Sinclair. We've got Lemmings, Dead Angle, that's a different one. Sort of like a shooter where you see behind your character. There's Sonic Chaos, Afterburner. Next up, guys, let's take a look at the Light Phaser. One of many accessories released on the Master System, and every console back in the day had to have a light gun. And the Master System was no exception, and it had some great light gun games. As you can see playing in the background here, we've got Wanted, a great little Western shoot 'em up this. Really, really great detailed graphics, really colourful. Look at all them colours. Really, really is a good little game. Here's the cover to it. Love the artwork to this box. It's really, really cool. And next up, we've got Space Gun. A Tato coin-up arcade. Not a bad little conversion, a solid conversion considering it's on an 8-bit machine. You know, this game got a port and a conversion on pretty much every home computer back in the day, but um, the Master System is a solid conversion. And then next up we're here, we have a compilation of games, Marksman Shooting, Trap Shooting and Safari Hunt. I do believe the Safari Hunt was on the built-in original Master Systems when you got the light gun pack. And next up here we have is Rambo 3, as you can see it playing in the top corner here. A great little shooter. It's sort of like copies um, Operation Wolf, but yeah, it, it's bigger sprites and and really detailed. A really great little shooter on the Master System. And here, as I just mentioned, Operation Wolf. Again, a solid conversion. A great Tato arcade. This, and again, another solid home conversion on the Master System. The Master System was really good at arcade ports. And this one's a unique one. Laser Ghost. This one you had to use your light gun and also the control pad. You sort of protect the girl as she goes through the haunted house, shooting obstacles and ghouls. And moving on, here we have one of the very first games I ever owned on the Master System, and that's Action Fighter. I used to play this game over and over. I remember back in the day when I used to have my Sinclair Spectrum, I used to play an arcade port of a really, really great game, Spy Hunter. An action fighter is sort of like a step up from that. Great visuals for the time. Um, yeah, you scroll up the screen, you start off on a motorbike, and you go up shooting everything in your way. Great little sort of score-based shooter. Really good game. And as you can see there, we've got Dragon Crystal, a great little RPG-style game. Time Soldiers. Sensible Soccer, that plays quite well on the Master System. <laughs> And then The Simpsons, Bart versus the Space Mutants. Could I ever get on with that game? Could I heck? You see Gauntlet, Enduro Racer, E-Swap, and Super Off-Road. Moving on to the next pile, what you just saw there was Land of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse, a great little Disney platformer this, um, as there were so many on Sega consoles, and they started on the Master System. This really was a great little 2D platformer. And then moving along here, we've got Super Space Invaders, Dracula, Asterix, Shadow Dancer. That's, a, that's a, quite a unique play on the Master System. Golden Axe, not a, not a bad port. We've got World Grand Prix, Indiana Jones, Thunderblade. And of course, we've got Tato's Chase HQ and Special Criminal Investigation. And this one's a good one, Secret Command. Now, this was originally released in the United States as Rambo, 
but unfortunately Sega couldn't get the license for it over here so it's called Secret Commando as you can see there it's blatantly Rambo um, a great little sort of Akari Warriors Commando style game again look at look at the graphics look at the detail the Master System really was a powerful console for its time And on to the next stack of games. Here we have Zillion 2. Great little action platformer this. All set in a, like a manga style. Really, really solid game. This is a game I didn't play back in the day, but picked it up recently. And it's a solid, solid blast. And moving on here, we've got Tom and Jerry the movie. My lad loves that game. Mortal Kombat, G-Lock, Ghost House, Moonwalker, and Road Rash really really solid conversion on the on the master system considering it's 8-bit and here's two stacks of games that are probably some of my best games on the master system first up we've got streets of rage 2 this doesn't play anywhere near the mega drive release but you know good on sega for giving it a go you know it, it's not too bad it gets a lot of flack and yet yeah, maybe not as solid as the street as the original and there's a weird one, Monty Zuma's Revenge. Um, I can remember playing this on the 8-bit computers in the, sort of like the transitional period, you know. Sega did bring out some of these 8-bit classics um, off the home computers onto the console. Yeah, solid little platformer. Moving on here, we've got Double Dragon. Now, who doesn't like Double Dragon? You know, I can remember playing this with my mates when I was a kid. Two-player great great visuals again for the time you know and there weren't many great double dragon conversions back in the day but this one gets a thumbs up solid on the master system and here we have one of my favorite master system games definitely in my top 10 and that's masters of darkness yeah it is a castlevania clone but it plays really really well and again look at those graphics look at the visuals look at the sprites you know it plays solid solid an 8-bit game here's a tough game and that is renegade again this plays a bit like streets of rage it's a it's a walk along beat em up sort of one of the first really this was and it's a thumbs up a really really solid release on the master system and here's a game criminally that i haven't played that much and it's wonder boy free the dragon's trap this is a game i really need to get to grips with and finish um, I've given it a quick pass, but it really needs more time. And moving on here, we've got Ghouls and Ghosts. Um, this release is slightly different to the Mega Drive version. You've got a shop that you can go into and um, buy power-ups and items. And yeah, it's a solid little blast. And this was the first game I ever got on the Master System. It came with my Master System, and it's Vigilante. It's not a great game, and it's not aged well today but I have fond, fond memories of it. And here's one that really is a great game and still great today, and that is the original Wonder Boy. Again, it was one of the first Sega games I ever played back in the day in the arcades. There was a local cafe that had it, and we used to play it all the time. And it's really solid thumbs up on the Master System. Again, another great, great arcade conversion of Sega's here, and that is Shinobi. Again, absolutely awesome on the Master System. I really do love this version. And moving on again, another great, great conversion of a game here, and that's R-Type. You know, who doesn't like R-Type? If you love shooters, then most people love R-Type, and it's a really, really solid conversion of the game. Great visuals, loads of sprites at the same time. Yeah, really, really fast. And here we have the first game I actually went out and bought myself, and that is Dynamite Ducks. This is really a special game to me, as like I said, I can remember saving up my paper round money, going into town and buying my first ever Master System game, Dynamite Ducks. Great visuals, cartoon style graphics, awesome colours, yeah, a great little walk along, sort of beat em up in its own sense. Great, great game. And moving on to the second super stack of games here, guys. We've got Psycho Fox. 
This game really is highly regarded on the Master System and it's in most people's top 10. It's a great little platform of this. Really, really bright, colourful visuals again, as you come to expect on the Master System. And it's got a really, really great platform mechanic. Um, once you get used to the jump mechanics, that is. Yeah, a solid little um, platformer on the Master System. And then we're coming on to a really, really great action platformer, and that's Consendent. A really, really, really great game. I love the setting of this. I love the like Japanese mythology. And it's got really, really great graphics. Brilliantly big sprites for an 8-bit game. And it's got a really, really nice power-up mechanic. A really great game. I highly recommend it, guys. This is definitely one to get. And then moving on, who doesn't know Alex Kidd? This is Alex Kidd, The Lost Stars. One of the weaker games in the series. It's not a game I've played a lot of. But this one really is an Alex Kidd game that is great and it's in my top 10. Thumbs up and that's Alex Kidd in Shinobi World. I love Shinobi, I love Alex Kidd, combining the two and it makes a great, great game. I just love how Alex Kidd is set in the Shinobi World and it works really, really well. It's not a very long game and it can be quite easily completed in an hour or two but it's really, really solid. Highly recommended guys. And then it moves us on to another Alex Kidd, and that's Alex Kidd in High Tech World. This one, again, it's, it's quite a solid little platform in this one, but not as good as Shinobi World. And this is a really great game, one of the best conversions of Choplifter, and it's on the Master System. Me and my mates used to play this game over and over back in the day. A great, great game. What, a, what an awesome release. And then moving on here, we've got what I believe is the original Darius. A great, great shoot of this on the Master System. And yeah, again, thumbs up. Look at those visuals. I love the fire effects and the moving background. It works really, really well. And it's a real solid, solid shoot of this. It plays surprisingly quick for an 8-bit shooter. Yeah, a great little game. Highly recommended. Again, another awesome Taito conversion on the Master System, and that's Rainbow Islands. I think probably because this is the one that I played back in the day, this is my favourite conversion of Rainbow Islands. Thumbs up. And that moves us on to another Taito classic, and that's Bubble Bobble. Who doesn't love Bubble Bobble? A great game. And again, it's solid on the Master System. Big thumbs up. Awesome. And then moving on to another Taito arcade game here and another great conversion. And that's Rastan. A great game. Again, a game I spent hours and hours as a kid playing. And then this one, a bit more tougher this one, and this is Ninja Gaiden. Again, a great solid action platformer. I love the level where you're in the trees. Jumping from tree to tree, it just reminds me of the old Ninja films. A great little game, and as you all know, back in the day, Ninjas were cool. And that moves us on nicely to one of my favourite accessories of all time. And that is the Sega 3D glasses. Man, I so badly wanted these back in the day when I was a kid. Seeing them advertised in the magazines and in the leaflets that you got in your games. Box is in great condition. There's the Sega 3D glasses manual in minty crisp condition, looks new. And then this is the all important part. A lot of sets have this missing and it's the um, adapter that fits into where your card slot normally goes, your card games. And then your glasses plugs into that and look at these. How 80s retro cool are they? A common fault on these is that they crack on the hinges and a lot of them lose their arms but these are complete and in absolutely fantastic condition. And as you can see, it's the sort of shutter effect 3D. And it works really, really well. Even today. It leaves us with the 3D games. As you can see at the top here, we've got Poseidon Wars 3D. Yeah, I really like the depth. The 3D effect really works well on this game. Great little game. And then we've got Outrun. I do like the conversion of Outrun on the Master System. And the 3D visual effects work really well. Yeah, great game. 
Then moving on to the other ones, we've got Space Harrier 3D. That doesn't work too great. We've got Missile Defense, Saxon, Blade Eagle. There we have it. There's the Master System games in the Sega Wall. My name's Sega Zombie, and you've been watching the Sega Wall. I hope you're enjoying the channel, guys. And if you are, please subscribe below. Until the next time, goodbye.